Well guys, I don't know if you have your name on the VIN plate of your vehicle. That's right. <laughs> Nor do I know if you have planned a circumnavigation of the world in your Land Rover. This one is very unusual. Um, it's a 1985 110 galvanized chassis. It now has a 300 TDI in it and it has been done up really well so what is so unusual about this one well let's go and have a look very cool little landy this is an earth cruiser in effect this is a bespoke homemade actually in a shed would you believe it and if you look at the dimensions something doesn't quite add up nothing to see here right Leave along, nothing, to see. <laughs> <laughs> nothing unusual we have a nice winch bumper here that looks like a, um, a Warren 8274 no no it's um, just a normal um, heavy-duty 15,000 pound pull okay drum winch. No, I saw the giggle pin reference yeah well he's a, fr he's a friend of mine so I Jim Morrison yeah he's a nutter behind the wheel yeah he's a very good driver very good yeah but <laughs> I wouldn't consider what he does. <laughs> Just two panels of maybe 100 watts each? Uh, there are 120 watt panels. Each? Yeah. That's more than enough to get you get in your direct, power. In direct sun on a clear blue sky, charges at about 6 amps. All right. That's <laughs> more than enough. Yes. Nice color, which is a bespoke color, actually. Yes. Comes it's, from, like I said, it's a Suzuki color. It's called Healing Green. It's actually a good name for it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, tree sliders here. Yes, those I made myself as well. We've got a shower enclosure here. Yeah. It says Quick Pitch. Yes. From South Africa. My wife's actually tried it. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Shower, yeah. <coughs> had a shower in Wales. And if and if you're in a an area which is either stony or muddy. We've got a little kid's paddling pool that you put in the bottom so, oh, so that you don't get muddy feet. <laughs> genius. The road shower feeds the shower enclosure. And this is um, pressurized? Yes, it, you fill it up with water and then using the onboard compressor, you pressurize it with compressed air and it gives you a lovely power shower. That's genius. And we just use a conventional household shower head with an on-off switch on the on the top of it so you can turn it on and off it hope that shower holds about four gallons of water four gallons yeah well, that's enough for a shower oh, you big shower yeah <laughs> on the roof we've got a hannibal tent and the keen eyed among you might notice it's a little bit wider than normal which is two meters so that is easily bigger than a king size bed in there and how does this two meter tent fit on this one ten well, let's have a look. Yeah, I had to look twice as well. Crazy. <laughs> so what we have here is not your standard Defender. No. no. This is... When I built, I decided I was going to build a six-wheeler um, to get me anywhere and everywhere I want to go, plus to carry the extra load that we were going to be carrying. Um, you're basically literally living out of the yes, vehicle. Yes, it's so our it's home. Some extra space. Yeah, it's our home. So that was the idea from the beginning. To yes, have a, a longer... it was always going to be a six-wheeler. Something that is totally bespoke, original, incredibly creative. Yes. It's using a lot of different parts of the Land Rover history, new and old parts, even the 109, which is yeah. quite old. We've taken the best bits of what parts of Land Rovers we could find and put amalgamated them into one machine. So this is the back end of a 109. You, if I have got that correct. Yes, that's right. Which has been joined over here and down there and staggered over there. Can you believe that? Just there. Which is very clever. So it's actually staggered, which gives you a lot more rigidity, strength. Yeah. And the beauty of it is, you've still got the same lines of your landy. It's actually quite straight. <laughs> <laughs> Better than they come at the factory, some people have said. 
They have a bespoke um, roll cage, which is obviously a lot longer than, uh, than a standard 110. Back that was that was built by a friend of mine uh, back in the UK that builds roll cages for a living. It's um, Whitbread 4x4. They right. do racing cages, so he jumped at the chance of making one for this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, racing cages. Yes. So here's the back end. You might notice an extra diff down there. Oh, you've got some heavy duty shocks, everything. Yes. 13,000 pound winch. Yeah, 13,000 pound on the rear, 15,000 pound on the front. Okay, we've got. Oh, uh, that's for the, um, what's it called? The trailing arm? It's on the chassis. If you can sort of get here and shoot underneath, you can see on the front of the front of the diff, there is a drive unit which puts the drive up under the axle down to the second axle. Right, okay. This is the cleanest chassis I've seen. <laughs> So here we have a spare tire underneath, and above it, two spare tires. Two, yeah. The, the whole, whole bed, the whole bed comes out on sliders as well. So Snowmaster fridge. Oh, that's great. On an easy slide, slide system. So you can get to everything nice and easy. Yeah. And then storage in the back. Obviously, you need a lot of space, especially when you're living in this permanently. Yes. And four seasons. Yes. That's the thing. I know. But like I said, we try try and keep away from the, the snowy winter seasons. <laughs> <laughs> so far. <laughs> and then on the base here. Oh my word. This is really You almost need music, don't you, for it to come out. <laughs> Some dramatic, yeah. <laughs> So the whole thing out, comes so out. So you can then get access to the spare wheels. My word. That's genius. And this I built myself. The tracks you can buy online. Um, it's the type of things they use in fire, fire engines for mounting all the heavy equipment on to pull them out the side of the trucks. Yeah. So that slider will take uh, half a ton. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's not going to wear out any time no. soon. But that's genius how you can access everything. Mm. You have a 270 awning as well. There's your Hannibal tent. And yeah, you can add some side panels to this and close it completely. Yes, it, can, it can be completely enclosed. So it gives us another living area. The awning underneath the tent we tend to use as our sitting room in the evening and sit there and watch videos or whatever. And, and the other thing that people like to is uh, to get up on the roof. That's a loft ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool. So that slides off the vehicle, comes down. How do, you, to the roof. how do you come up with this stuff? This is <laughs> genius. I spend many hours thinking of stupid things. <laughs> That's not stupid. <laughs> I'm an engineer by trade, so I'm always looking to find solutions to get round problems. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, Exmoor trim, bespoke seats, heated, padded. We've got a really interesting dashboard for an old TDI. That's pretty high tech for a Landy. So it shows you everything you need in there. Yes, we got you know temperature gauge, fuel gauge, um, trip, miles per hour, taco, and diff lock. So that's a Kenwood radio. Yes. And okay. And sat nav. Like I said, double din is yeah. crazy in, in one and of the, these old. And the nice thing is with this as well is when you're traveling abroad, you can swap from miles per hour to kph. So, I know, you always stay within the speed limits. Uh, diesel heater under here. 
because you removed the, oh, the original, the original heater. which was not up to yeah. much good anyway. And a lot of storage in the back. Obviously the seats are out now. There is a storage under here. I'm not the only one who loves herbs and spices and wonderful foods. Cooking is very important. Dude, kitchens are important. Yes, ma'am. We've got a water tank in there. We've got water filters, pressure, high pressure hoses. Oh, yeah, that's clean. It's all totally rebuilt. How old is the original car? I mean, which year? 1985. So it was an old 110? Yes. Which had an NA in there? Yes, originally. Oh. That's... okay. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. This is like new. Well, it is. Well, yeah, it's been Practically. rebuilt. But the... That is one of the best investments I ever made on the vehicle. It's called a Red Boost. Yeah. It's a hydraulic servo assisted clutch. When the engine's running, you can push the clutch pedal down with one finger. I've never heard of that. Normally it you get the to left it. leg <laughs> because Land Rover clutches are notoriously bad. Yes, very, very hard. Wow, this is all new. It's crazy. And like I said, if you look on the, it says manufacturer there. It says Tony Johnson. That's me. <laughs> You're a car builder now. Yes. A vehicle uh, engineer. <laughs> so as you said, it runs cooler now. It yes. gives you more, yeah. more torque. Yeah. We've got um, an aluminium larger radiator in. And in front of the radiator, there's a big full width. Um, intercooler for the turbo. Ah, yeah. I thought this was aircon. No, mm -hmm. no, no aircon. If you, aircon's open the windows. It's a <laughs> Land Rover. <laughs> We're in Spain now, which is just under the door handle, unfortunately. <laughs> right. <laughs> but when we leave the UK, we'll be leaving the UK, going to Halifax in Nova Scotia, and then we're going to drive right the way across Canada, come down through the Americas, all the way down to South America, and then ship across to Africa, about here, come across Africa, over to this side, doing Botswana, Tanzania, and all the, the good places, and then she'll get shipped again over to India. My oh, way, I have to move, yeah. <laughs> uh, we want to do Sri Lanka as well, and then out through, down through Asia, ship over to Australia. My intention is to drive the entire coast road of Australia and then over to New Zealand and finish. Can you let people know where they can find you? Certainly. I'm Tony Johnson and this is my vehicle that I built from scratch to do a round the world overland trip in with my wife Nikki. If you'd like to see more of our adventures and what we get up to and the history of the build of the vehicle then go to our social media pages and look for Grand Rover Voyager on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube. And you've seen the route and it's going to be epic for the next five years. So join their YouTube channel, subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you on the next one and keep rolling.